Hola, this is Kai Pacha with the Weekly Pele Report. <laughs> and today, as you can see, is December 21st of 2016. That sun is at zero degrees, zero minutes of Capricorn. It is the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. The shortest day in the north and the longest day in the south. So this is a big switch. It's a big turning point. It's a changing of the seasons. Very powerful. I would say that it happens every year. What's even way, 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 way more powerful <laughs> are some of the other aspects that are happening. Okay, here we can see that the moon is over here in Libra. And I'm going to just move this ahead a day. Okay, here is Thursday. You can see we got a moon-Jupiter conjunction. Very nice. And Jupiter moves into this exact opposition, 20 degrees to 20 degrees with Uranus. And then it's 20 degrees up here to Saturn. And we can see that Pluto's at 16 and Venus is at 16 and Chiron is at 20. So I, I mentioned this before. If you have planets between 16 degrees and 20 degrees, look at your natal chart because they're getting triggered. Okay, now and for some time to come here by Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Venus only for a couple of days here, but Chiron and Uranus. All, I mean, 20 degrees, 20 degrees, 20 degrees, 20 degrees. Woo! I'm going to talk about what that means because it's very nice. This is a nice sextile between Jupiter and Saturn and between a trine between Saturn and Uranus. Very beautiful. The challenging part that I want to talk about today is this square between Chiron and Saturn. And, and that is exact next Wednesday. Let's look and let's, let's move this ahead a little bit, a couple more days. You know, here we come up to Christmas Day. And what happens on Christmas Day and thereafter, as you can see, Mars comes right up to the south node of the moon, five degrees to five degrees, day after Christmas. But still, it's happening even now. I mean, that's just the exact degree. Okay. And... We can go a little farther. You can see that Mercury's moving backwards. There's nine degrees, eight degrees, up seven degrees, boom, Sun Mercury conjunction next Wednesday at seven degrees of Capricorn. Just before we come in for, you know, I mean, this is probably next Pele report, we'll be talking about the new moon, okay? But for now, I want to just really be talking a lot about Jupiter opposite Uranus. Saturn squaring Chiron, Saturn trining Uranus, and let's look at this where? Oh yeah, from outer space. <laughs> Don't you love it? You see, you know, this is the actual, you know, here it is, you know, Jupiter, okay, opposite Uranus, Saturn, up here, you know, coming into this, what they don't have is Chiron. Chiron would be like right there where my arrow is pointing, okay, because that is in between the orbits of Uranus and Saturn, right where Chiron uh, resides, and uh, it would also be 90 degrees from Earth to Saturn over to Chiron. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I don't want to spend all of, you know my whole time on this, but you can see that uh, the, the geocentric view puts Venus, you know, out over here. That would be, you know, Venus up there in Aquarius, Mars, you know, and Neptune both over here in in Pisces. So that's the way that astrology works. Your your chart, any chart, is just taking the Earth as the center. And sending, you can see Venus is over there and Neptune and Mars is over there. And the sun is like right straight up over there. And Jupiter is over there. I'll show it to you one more time. From Earth, we got Jupiter over there, Uranus over there, Saturn up over there, the sun straight up overhead. You see, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> all right, let me talk at the camera and talk about what all this means because it's intense. 
Okay, well, this is another version of the banana report. <laughs> I made it back home again. You can see there's a fresh bunch of bananas in my backyard. <laughs> Wanted to give you a little shot of those while I talk today about the crisis. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we are in a crisis in consciousness, and this can be experienced not only consciously, but economically. Uh, physically, with our nervous systems, we are in a very intense period of transitional time. And I want to really look at, number one, the Mercury retrograde, the Sun entering Capricorn, Pluto in Capricorn. Now we've got this whole energy in Capricorn right now. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is directly square to Chiron, trining Uranus and sextile Jupiter. So this is all about, ladies and gentlemen, boundaries, boundaries. Yeah, Mars conjoining the south node of the moon in Pisces does not want to have any boundaries. Neptune and Chiron in Pisces want to have this unity consciousness of light and love and, uh, you know, yoga means union. No boundaries, no time, no space. We're all one. I am you, you are me in La Keshe. This is, this is very beautiful and very vital on a spiritual level. And we are spiritual beings having an earthly experience. So we come into these bodies, we come into these egos, and the ego's function is to maintain separation and healthy boundaries so that our centralized nervous system, our central core, we can become centered in ourselves, which is becoming the author of our own lives, which is becoming an authority, which is becoming Capricorn Saturn. So there is this mix, yes? And even when I look back, yeah, this is a 62-year cycle, Saturn, Chiron. They were conjoined at the 24th degree of Pisces in uh, April 12th of 1966. All right, the summer of love. You may remember the 60s. This was when the seed was sown of Saturn in Chiron in Pisces. And it's just so phenomenal, okay, that now the third quarter square of Saturn to Chiron is happening with Chiron in Pisces once again, only four degrees away. <laughs> the Sabian symbol for the 24th degree of Pisces is something like an island out in the, you know, there's an island in the vast expanse of the ocean where people are seen in close interaction. And Dane Rudyard talks about the keynote here, you know, and the explanation of this is that the ego is like an island in the vast ocean of humankind. Each one of us is our own unit. Yeah, even the sun, the symbol for the sun in the chart is a circle with a point of consciousness, point consciousness in the periphery the circle is the periphery so this is coming into our core coming into our center coming into our selfhood and this involves having boundaries the island has limitations Saturn is about coming into an understanding our limitations the old saying is that good fences make good neighbors. That as we have these boundaries, as we learn to say no, as we draw a line between ourselves and we build up an immune system, we are not so confused. We are not so overwhelmed. We are not so gullibly driven by the beliefs, by the news, by the consensus reality that is the vast ocean surrounding us. And this is the crisis in consciousness of the 270 degree third quarter square.
the crisis in consciousness has to do with a culmination that we have grown and learned from 1966 until now. We have been swimming in an ocean of the consensus. Okay? And we have learned and grown like a child, okay, living in his parents' house. The parents create boundaries, rules, laws, regulations, and limits to give that child, yes, a sense of safety and security until the child is old enough to leave home. <laughs> Well, this is the crisis in consciousness. This is the third quarter square. This is where we are now with Saturn Chiron. And even the sun entering uh, zero degrees Capricorn is 270 degrees from the beginning of zero degrees Aries. If you want to know enough astro if you don't know enough astrology already. <laughs> But what I'm, what I'm wanting to say here is that this is like a graduation. This is like, you know what, it's time for each and every one of us, okay, to graduate out of this swimming pool or this ocean of consensus reality where we have external authorities dictating what we do with our money, what we do with our time, what we do with our energy, what we do with our love, what we do with our relationships. It's just like, you know what? Everything is falling apart. Yes, the system is breaking down. Pluto moving through Capricorn. I've said it before, I'll say it again, 2008 to 2023 is the death and resurrection of the old institutions, forms, structures, authorities, banks, governments, institutions that have been holding the population for so long. This is the end of the patriarchy. This is the birth of the age of Aquarius. And it involves the breaking out and break and then creating from our own center, from our own core, from our own island, our own belief system, our own truth, our own purpose, our own identity, our own life mission, not according to the beliefs, the misguided beliefs, okay, of the religions and the institutions and uh, the scientists and everything that has been out there like parents guiding us, restricting us and regulating us for so long and we is this is this time of breaking out and breaking free and it is tense and it is stressful and it is confusing because now I don't know who to trust anymore. I don't know who to believe anymore. I don't know. I don't have anybody to follow anymore. I don't have any. Uh, you know, it's like, oh my God, thank God there's astrology. <laughs> That's all I can say, man. At least you can follow the stars because you got to watch out for all these other humans out here on planet Earth, man. Trying to control, trying to lead, trying to, you know, uh, t you know, take your time and take your money and take your love and take your energy. And it's just like, whoa, whoa. And this Mars conjunct the South Node, this is anger. This is frustration. All right. It's like coming up. You know, it's like, you know what, I have been a victim and I have been a martyr and I have been ripped off and the system has used me and my partners and relationships and my sexuality. I've just been like a, you know, I've just been a victim, you know, of a terrible, terrible mess. <laughs> and this can cause us to withdraw and contract and not trust anymore and close our hearts and move into self-protective mode and I just really you know I want to encourage us that you know it's not about withdrawing and contracting and out of overwhelm or out of fear or out of frustration or out of anger giving up and and throwing in the towel it's the exact opposite the north node is still in Virgo 
and it's saying that we have to do the, we have to do the effort. And Sun's in Capricorn, and this Saturn is you know this Saturn is very powerful in Sagittarius. We need to form our own beliefs, and we need to create our own purpose. And we can look at the positive side of this. Saturn is trying Uranus. Jupiter is trying Uranus. This is actually what? When the child leaves home, there's great amounts of freedom. We can re we are free. It's like, you know what? We we just have to like step into big shoes and take control and take that power. And how do we do that? We listen to our soul. We listen to our intuition. We listen to the right brain that knows. And stop saying, oh, I don't know, or I can't figure it out, or it escapes me, or I can't explain it. And, and, and get into the place of, I do know. I know what's right. I know what's you know, good for me. I know what I want. And if you don't, sit still and meditate and tap into your soul and tap into your, you know, your, your, your spirit self. Because your spirit self does know. So, you know, when people are saying, oh, this could happen and that could happen and oh, this is going to fall and that's going to fail and da 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 it's all just an invitation to be your own boss and to take charge of your own life and to become more sovereign with Uranus and Aries than ever before and team up with other people who want to take responsibility for their own life and for their own life situation and their own condition sexually, financially, job-wise, employment-wise. It's like, you know what? No more blame. No more victim consciousness. Yeah? You know, it's not Trump's fault and it's not the government's fault and it's not your boyfriend or your girlfriend's fault. It's like, you know what? It's like, it's time now. These are all just teaching us how powerful we are, how strong we are. And Saturn and the Sun and Capricorn is now telling us this is the time to take responsibility for creating a very powerful reality and a powerful future. We are the ones. This is it. So the mantra today is like pretty complex. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know if you read it already. But I refuse to be a martyr sacrificed on the altar of misguided beliefs my soul clearly sees are a recipe for disaster. This is time to get up off the altar, to get out of victim consciousness, to stop pointing fingers and to stop blaming, and to stand up in the core, in the center. It's up to each and every one of us to bring spirit into matter. Yeah, to unite, okay, like Sagittarius, half man, half horse. Yeah, uniting consciousness with instinct, spirit with matter, masculine with feminine. We are the link here. <laughs> and if we, <laughs> if we get confused and overwhelmed and we let go and we go into, you know, unconsciousness or we want to stay asleep, the link is not made. And it's like getting more and more, you know, there's more and more pressure on each and every one of us to learn how to say no, to hold the boundary, to contain my energy, to discipline myself, to really stand in my firm authority and build my character through each and every day and each and every choice and each and every judgment that I am making, I am making from my center and from my core. 
not from what mom said or dad said or the president said or the newspaper said or the internet said or, you know, Facebook said or ba 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 ba. We got to tap in. And this heals that wound. Chiron through Pisces wants to heal that wound of separation from source. So it's not up to source to reach us. It's up to us to like, you know, clarify, you know, it's like uh, wipe off the mirror of your soul. Yeah, get the fog off of there. Get a little spray, a little window cleaner, a little mirror cleaner, you know, and, 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 and wipe off, clear up the mirror of your soul and you will see how powerful you are, how much you really do know, <laughs> how much you know you really can control <laughs> and how you know it's time <laughs> this is it man ow <sighs> i refuse to be a martyr sacrificed on the altar of misguided beliefs that my soul clearly sees are a recipe for disaster May you rise up in all your power, all your splendor, all your glory. Yeah, not be overwhelmed by a little retrograde mercury and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, you know, it all builds up and piles up and we all get frustrated. And it's up to each and every one of us to, like, be Saturn and really, boom, take control of ourselves, take control of our lives. Yeah. Pew. Ow! Namaste, aloha. So much love and so much power.